Okay, so this is the third part in our McDonald's stories, and we're just gonna finish it up real quick. Real fast. And go! <laughs> anyway, so, we, uh, wow, my voice... <laughs> Snappy, snappy. All right, all right, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, so, John works at McDonald's, and he was like, well, you know what, it'll, it'll, it will be open, and we're pretty hungry. You know that time of night whenever everything seems funny and yeah. fun to do? I don't think the camera sees you at all, Clint. <laughs> I don't think it's, all right, now it sees me. Just, just, just keep it on you. All right, okay. anyway. All right, so anyway, so we uh, walked down to McDonald's at midnight, and guess what? Nothing's open. So we walked all that way. I think Blake went barefooted, didn't you? Possibly. I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I love my camera editing. No, anyway, so uh, we uh, head down there and like nothing's open. So we just wasted like a whole hour and a half walking down there. It was definitely a blast to sneak out though. Out of, out of this camper. We snuck out of Clint's camper. With my parents. And it was out. <laughs> and with my parents sleeping inside the house, so really they couldn't hear us anyway. By the way, Mom and Dad, if you're watching this, we didn't do what we're saying we did. Well, we are. Well, we did. But it, it's in the past. Sorry. We were bored. And, uh, you know, really, we should think about what we put on YouTube sometimes. Definitely. Oh well, there's some more interesting videos on YouTube than us talking about how we snuck out. You definitely need editing software, so send us money! <laughs> Yet again, to the Clinton Blake Show, just contact Clint. I'm not going to give my phone number out, but if you, any of you uh, people want it, go ahead, send it to me. Send me your number, I'll call you, and you be I like... I don't know how we're going to get it, but that's okay! <laughs> you can send us by the mail. Which will give you our email address if you talk to us for a little bit. Because if you're like, I know this one guy wrote on my wall, like my YouTube wall, and said he wanted us to talk about cats. So, unfortunately, since that was our deal with the video. It's still recording here. Time check. It's still recording. So, since the guy really wanted us to talk about cats, I guess we're going to have to talk about cats. I'm okay with kittens. But cats, they got an attitude problem. Yeah, really. Like, either they scratch you or they want food. They're very independent. Like, they're easy to take care of. But, like, they're, like, if you're wanting a friend, like, <laughs> get a puppy dog. Because, yeah, yes. They will never play with you. I don't care how, like, old or young they are. They will never, well, except for kittens. Kittens play with you. I think I left my Bible back at the house. I, I just remembered that. Like, it's just like a thought. I left my Bible back at the house. I hope it didn't leave. I hope I left my billfold back there, cause my billfold's definitely not in my back pocket right now. <laughs> anyway, back to cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway, cats are just really mean. Like, look, they scratch you. They scratch up all the furniture. They crap in the house, which is really disgusting, and it smells bad. At least with a dog, they at least you know take outside. And also another thing with all you pet owners, stop dressing up your dogs and cats. That's just, a little weird. Yeah, it's disturbing. You don't know how weird it is to go walking down the street and just randomly seeing a cat in a ballerina outfit, do you? They're not supposed to wear clothes. <laughs> how do you think they feel about this? And what about you naming all those male cats they like definitely Fluffball? definitely don't like to wear clothes. How, uh, naming all those cats Fluffball? What is the up with that name? Well, that's a pet name. Fluffball. You can name you can name pet whatever you name. But a male Peach, cat? Peachy Leaf Tree Fuzzy Puff. Did you just completely think that up right now? Bet. <sighs> oh boy. Is it still recording? It's still recording. <laughs> we have to do a time check every once in a while because that would be like, still recording? And it, it is. It beeps, but don't always hear the beep. <laughs> and so well, then you're just talking to a, a worthless camera. It's not, well, it's not worthless, but like, it's definitely not working. It's my mom's camera, pretty and much. And it still starts with a W. Yeah. So it's the same thing. But if you want us to get a new camera, just send us money. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> we don't know how. We'll think of a system. In case y'all are wanting more of these. We'll use pelicans or something. Pelicans? No. Like, like how they transport babies. How, how, how about we use, uh, dude, we could use unicorns. Unicorns. Where are you going to find a unicorn? We'll capture a horse, 
and strap a cone to its head. Exactly. Sounds like a great idea. Yep. I bet the horse is going to love that, just like the dog likes to wear its pants around in the park. Actually, you know they even have underwear for them? For dogs? Yeah. That's weird. I know. Who, who, who really wants to change those diapers, huh? I don't want to change diapers. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, so we're done talking about cats because there was this idiot who decided to tell me to talk about well, cats. He's, he's not an idiot. Remember, Clint? If you like us. Oh, yeah. He's not an idiot. He's, he's just a very wonderful man. He is a man, right? It's what? a man, it's a man. I, I'd I, say uh, he, right? Well, well, I don't know. Okay. Like, we're, we're gonna hope that it's a man. Yeah, well, you just said that he's a wonderful man, so it almost yeah. sounds like you like him. Okay. No, he's just great. You just announce a wonderful. Man. You just announce a wonderful man over national. It's okay. Uh, never mind. I'm not saying I'm gay. It's not like I'm gay. He's not gay, and I'm not either. I so if any of us think people, we have people can be wonderful. I got. I got a. I got a, a backpack that's wonderful. It just means it's awesome. So it's an awesome guy, an awesome dude. With a backpack. And a wonderful man. You big, beautiful, wonderful man, you.